Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out some color correctors with different concealers, different brands, different color correctors, and I'm trying them on my skin so that you can really see the difference. I'm also gonna be showing you the color wheel as I talk, just to give you a visual of why I'm saying what I'm saying. I hope that this interests you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit, and I'm hoping to find a great community here. And you guys help me out a lot. So I appreciate that as well. Before we get on with the video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a little experiment to do today, and I'm not sure which concealer I'm gonna use. I have a cold, so I'm gonna cough through this, and, and it's gonna come. It's just hanging on forever. Last week I showed you the Huda Beauty color corrector, and I showed it to you, but I really didn't give you my opinion. I asked you for your opinion. Today I wanna play with this a little bit more. How am I gonna do that? I feel like on its own, it's quite pink. And when I look at my under eye here, I don't know if you can see, I see purplish color. I see some gray popping through there, but I also see purple. And pink on top of purple doesn't make any sense. So I have a color wheel to show you. I have a bit of these two colors mixed together. So when I look opposite of the wheel, this is orange, and opposite of this wheel is yellow. The two mixed together would be a peach. But when I look at the peach from Huda Beauty, it's gonna be too dark, I know it is. So I wanna experiment a little bit and show you the difference. Let me go get a peach corrector. So I pulled a bunch of different products, and we're going to compare it to the Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna put the Huda, Huda, I'm gonna put the Huda Beauty, Huda? Is it Huda or Huda? Must be Huda. I don't know why I say Huda. Now I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Bisque. This works really well on me. I don't know if you can see that. So let's put it up. I'm playing around with my lighting again today. It will be a forever journey. So you see the difference between the two? Bobbi Brown has a light peach as well, and that actually works on me. So there's one that I really like. I have a concealer by a company called Glow Skin Beauty, and I really like this one as well. This isn't a corrector, but it kind of acts like one. It's really pretty on my skin. Now I've got Sigma. You can tell I really like this one. There's two different colors in this, and I usually tap into the two of them. There's one and there's the other. But you see the difference of how cool this is? Like it's very, very strange. Like I would never put that on somebody unless they were green. That makes sense because if they had a real olive darkness under their eye, then you know, a light color of pink, like a light color of red, which would be pink, would work. So if you look at a darker skin tone woman, and they have darkness under their eye. That's why you see a lot of people putting orange, orange or red. Sometimes they'll even use a lipstick for a color corrector. But somebody like me, I am more here. I actually didn't even notice that these were on the outside of the wheel. Then it makes sense that I would be in the warm. It also would make sense in through here that a yellow could also work and I have had yellow work. I have one of those to show you. I have another one here. This is by Mob Beauty, and what is this? This is M84 Cream Eye, so this is a peach right here, and let's put it beside. Okay, and then I have a yellow in the same packet that's quite yellow. Now, if I were to mix those two together, which I may do, you see that? Like it becomes a completely different color. So that's maybe what I would do. This light brightener is from NARS. It's called Night Swan. I have used this one before. Very, very different than the Huda or Huda. Somebody tell me how to say that. And then I've got a very messy color wheel here. This is by Lise Watche, and it's the Portfolio Cream correctors and then I'm gonna put that down there so yeah this one is an interesting color oh shoot I just spilled 
Oh my God, I've had a mishap. Oh my goodness. Okay, be careful. I'm gonna put this one on very lightly and spread it out. Okay. Like, I don't think that counteracted anything and that's what a corrector should do. Now I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Bisque. I'll go directly in like that. You see the difference? Um, I'll use a different brush. Oh, that's so much better. You see? This one almost makes it darker. And that one looks good. Okay, let's keep playing. Okay, let's get it back to the darkness. Let's try another one. Is it Night Swan that I want or Golden Eye? So I'm gonna go in with Golden Eye. You see the difference? Do I want this one or do I want the... Oh, that's too much. I say that in every video. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. That's actually too dark. Let's go with the other one. My eye's gonna hate me after this. So let's go back in with White Swan. I think that actually was better. Look at the difference. You would never leave this on its own anyway, so I, I'm gonna find a purpose for this and we're gonna play with that as well. But let's keep going. Let's try the Mob Beauty. Get another brush. I'm gonna dip into the two of them together, actually, just like that. Mm. It's too dark with that orange from my coloring right now, but it's still better than this one. Oh, okay, gentle, Julie, gentle. I'm gonna try the Lee's Watch A. So I'm just gonna put it on with my finger. Yeah. Let's try the Sigma. I'm gonna dip into the two of them. It always depends on if I have a self tan or not, how much dark and how much light I put in. I mean, they're both light. I haven't self tanned my skin in about a week, I'd say a week. So I'm going for more of the lightness. Also bright. I have the Natasha Denona concealer and I got it in Y4. Y4? N4, sorry. So before I take this off, I wanna see if this will kind of warm this up a little bit. This one has the Huda Beauty under it. Is that even the right shade for me now? So now this is N4 by itself. Let's see if we can see the difference. Okay, one more experiment. I'm gonna use some Aven Eye Soothing Cream. My eyes need it. Okay, I'm curious. I have a Giorgio Armani concealer. Let me show you. On my eye, it looks too yellow. And I've never worn it because I don't like the look of it. Tap that in. Yeah, it just doesn't look good on me. What color is this? Hold on. This is number three. I can't see the letters. That's too yellow for sure. But what happens if I mix a little bit of this and I put a little bit of that, or that's a lot. Anyway, let's just see what happens. Is 
that better? Let me add a little bit of that to this. I may have mixed too much pink on that side. You see what I'm trying to do? <laughs> if you have something that's too yellow, would it be beneficial? If you bought this and you found that you don't like it and you don't want to return it, could you use it for color correcting a different product? See, that looks better to me. I like this side better. So I think I just put too much pink there. That's okay. This side I don't like as much. Let me just do a little dab. Better. The good thing about makeup is you can always wash it off and you can either try again or you can tweak it a little bit as you go. So don't be afraid to play. If you want to learn, just sit with your coffee, get in front of the mirror and play. Just like I'm doing. That's the way I'm learning and I enjoy it so much it's not work. If we ever had an online consultation, that's a lot of what we'll do too. When you're looking at all your makeup at home, look at what you have, the textures, the colors, Try to decide, okay, I don't like this concealer, why? Is it too light? Maybe if it's too light and you have a darker concealer, mix the two. So bottom line, would I recommend this product? I would say no. I don't believe I would. I'd love to know if you tried this before. If so, do you like it? I'm really interested to see how you use it. I can't see me reaching for that. I hope everything makes sense and let me know if it did. Let me know if you have any questions. I love to help or assist you in your makeup routine. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you, as well as my social handles. They will provide me with a small commission and I appreciate it if you use them, but if you don't, don't worry, it's okay. I'm just happy you're here. And if you ever need help, let me know. I do offer a service of online lessons and consultations. First hour of our consultation is actually a lot of talking. There's so much to go through. There's a lot of investigating to figure out what it is that you have, what it is that you like, what do you not like? And it, it takes me a while to really get down to the nitty gritty of what it is you need. That's it for this video. I hope this helps in some way. If it did, let me know in the comments. Even if you leave a smiley face, it helps the algorithm know that you like my video and to show it to more people. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.